I'm going to go over every question of quiz two to help you understand anything that you didn't do correctly. If you got it right, please feel free to fast forward in the video and you can go on to the next one. Okay, number one, Jocelyn can run at a constant rate of two thirds laps per minute. Today, Jocelyn has to run 30 laps to train 30 laps. How many minutes will this take her? So the first thing I'm going to do is two thirds and I'm going to label it. The two belongs to the laps. The three belongs to the minutes. And now I want to figure out how many minutes it takes her to run 30 laps. Laps is on the top. So I'm going to put that here. Two times 15 gives you 30 and whatever you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. So the correct answer choice here should be 45 minutes. Number two, at Claire's Boutique, they're running a sale on earrings. They're selling four pairs of earrings for $26. What is the unit price? Okay, so I'm comparing pairs of earrings to money. Four pairs are going to be sold for $26. The unit rate is a fancy word for one. So they want to figure out how much it is per one pair of earrings. So to scale that down, I'm going to divide by four, divide by four. When you do 26 divided by four, I get 6.5 and I'm going to add a zero because money comes two spots after the decimal. So each pair of earrings is $6 and 50 cents. Okay. If I can scroll down, we'll do three and four. Whew. Sorry about that. Okay, number three, Bryce is practicing his free throw shooting. He can make 15 baskets per minute. So I'm comparing baskets to minutes, 15 baskets per one minute. So I need to put 15 over one. How many free throws can he make in six minutes? So I'm going to do one times six is six. 15 times 6, I'm going to do, and I know in my head that that's 90. So he can make 90 baskets in 6 minutes. <sighs> Number 4, Home Depot and Lowe's are selling mums. So I'm going to make an equal fraction for Home Depot, and I'm going to make one for Lowe's. Okay, Home Depot is selling two mums for $9.98. Lowe's is selling three mums for $14.37. So you want to scale down to figure out how much per one mum is being sold at each place because you can't compare them now. There's two different units. So I'm going to scale down to find the unit rate. Divide by two, divide by two. $9.98 divided by two. Home Depot has uh, moms for $4.99 per mom. Then if I scale those down to one mom price, I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by three. So $14.37 divided by three. Each mom costs $4.79. So we have to pick the statement that's true based on that information. First one. Lowe's is 20 cents cheaper per mom plant. Well, let's look at these. Um, let me subtract them. $4.99 minus $4.79. Yes, that's 0 0.2, but don't forget you have to add a zero because money comes two spots after the decimal. So Lowe's is 20 cents cheaper per mom plant. Number five. Which equation matches the table below? I hate this horizontal table. It is not your friend. Okay, three hours, 210. I'm actually gonna write six hours, 420. Okay, I have to see what I'm doing to H to get M. H is a small number, it's getting bigger for the M or the mile. So I know I'm multiplying this side by something. And if you do 210 divided by three, you get 70. So you're taking the hours and timesing it by 70 to equal your miles. However, 
I don't see 70 times H there. This says 70 times M. I know that's not right, okay? I actually know that the adding ones aren't right either, but let me just prove to you the other way. So now if I switched my table, if I did miles first and hours second, let me see if I can figure out what I'm doing to my miles to get my hours. You're, this number is larger and you're ending up with a smaller number, so you're actually dividing by 70 to get your hours. And that choice is the first one. Number six, Vanessa and Corin are swimming. Vanessa can swim four laps in 12 minutes, okay. Corin can swim three laps in six minutes. So now you're trying to figure out their time per one lap. So I can't, to do four, I'm gonna scale it down to one, divide by four, divide by four. Vanessa can swim one lap in three minutes. Ooh, I forgot to label that, sorry. Scale down, divide by three, divide by three. Six divided by three is two. Corin can swim one lap in two minutes. Well, Corin is gonna be the faster one because it only takes her two minutes to swim a lap. Vanessa takes three minutes, so Corin is gonna be faster by one minute per lap. Okay, let's scroll down to the next one. Seven. Oh, I love seven. Okay, the first dot on seven, and you can't see it, I didn't scroll down enough, is 238. Okay, this uh, two is on the x-axis right here. 38 is on the y. So you really have to treat this like a table. What are you timesing the x by or two by to get 38? It's going to be 19. So you're looking for the equation that says x times 19 equals y. Not that one, not that one, not that one. This one right here. Okay, great job. I'm going to scroll down some more. 8 and 9, and I might even be able to fit 10. Yeah. Oh, this one kills me. There are 400 students total at Roosevelt Middle School. 150 of the students are involved in ski club. What is the value of students, I know value is a fraction, of not in ski club to the total number of students at the middle school? I don't know how many kids are not in student or not in ski club. I have to actually subtract these two. When you subtract 150 from 400, you get 250 students that are not in student council to the total of students, which is 400. If the zeros line up, you can cross them out, and then you can simplify this by dividing by five, dividing by five. The answer should be five eighths. Number nine, how many cups are in seven quarts? And they give you the scale factor. One quart is four cups, so now seven goes on the top because it's quarts. So it's times seven times seven. The answer should be 28 cups, okay, in four quart, in four cups. 28 cups in seven quarts, sorry. Lesson 14, number 10. Hannah can, can run four miles in 24 minutes. I hate when it's miles and minutes because they're both M. So I'm going to be a little bit more specific with my labeling. Pick the coordinate pair that would not be in the graph of the ratio. So if you look at your miles, you are timesing it by six to get your minutes. So let's take a look at these and see which one you don't times six by. One times six is six. Three times six is 18. Nine times six is 54. 10 times six should give you 60. This one will not be on the graph. Okay, last one. A train was traveling at a constant speed. It travels 288 miles in three hours. So let me, miles, two hours. 288 miles, three hours. I'm gonna scale it down to per one hour, okay? Divide by three, divide by three. When you divide 288 by three on your calculator, you should get 96. Don't put 96 here. 
that is for one hour of travel okay you your first number here is two so you have to times all of your hours by 96 to get your miles okay two times 96 is going to give you 192 four times 96 is going to give you 384 six times 96 is going to give you 576 and eight times 96 is going to give you oh mrs kramer i believe it's 768 but let me just double check yes 768 so these are answers a b c and d the last one on your quiz okay very simple what equation represents the relationship between your time and your distance? Hours and miles. Okay, they gave you different ones. They gave you time and distance. No biggie. One hour, 96 miles. So if you were looking this at this in table format, your hour is getting scaled up to 96. You are taking your hours and timesing it by 96 to end up with your miles. So... 96 times your time equals your distance. And that one is right here. And the last one, if the train is traveling nonstop, how many miles would it travel in 9.5 hours? I have corrected so many papers without a labeled equal fraction. One hour, 96 miles. You have to scale that up to five and a half hours. 1 times 5 and a half is 5 and a half, and whatever you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. Okay? 96 times 5.5 .5 is 528 miles in 5 and a half hours. Okay, now it's your turn to retake the test. Make sure you make an appointment with me. Thank you.